Hello, visionaries. Welcome back. I am Leonidas. This is Nucleares, and today I am going to sing to you. You ready? Okay. Yeah, no, just kidding. Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is the supplemental video to the in-depth vacuum and condenser guide that I did for our new, uh, well, vacuum and condenser system. Um, there were some things that I needed to confirm. I didn't want to wait too much longer on the developer, but we finally had a chance to chat and he confirmed some things, um, corrected some things. So that's what this video is. And without further ado, let's just get into it. Here we are, Microsoft Paint. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, we're going high tech here on the Leonidas videos. Um, this is a screenshot from the video that I took. It just has that sheet that I drew. I, I didn't feel like setting up my little contraption on my kitchen table again and all that. So I'm going to use this to demonstrate that, like I said, this is just a screenshot. I have my little uh, cursor here that I can draw. So uh, let's talk about some things. Um, the first one, and, and I'm going to be cutting in and out probably as I remember things to talk about, um, some of the questions that I had and, and the answers that I got. And I know you're probably thinking, well, why not just write this stuff down and follow a, a plan for your videos? That is a great idea. And I've tried it. One time I had, I think like 14 things I wanted to talk about and I got to like number four and then went off script and never got back onto it and forgot half the stuff. So been there, tried that anyway, back on topic. So, uh, again, this is a, a, you can't really see my cursor. Can you, I can't really see it on my preview. It's pretty light. Um, but it, it's right here right now. So this is the diagram of our system. You have our condenser over here. You have, uh, then the condenser suction, the black pipes. Ooh, I can't even see my cursor, apparently. Uh, the black pipes, right, condenser suction that goes into the ejector, into the mixing chamber. You have the OMSI and SIMSI um, that come through the back, the yellow pipes. And then from there, all that shoots into the retention tank. You have the yellow CRV that comes off the top of the retention tank, goes to the condenser. You also have another black pipe, the suction uh, inlet, I believe it's called. Suction inlet. Uh, or intake, I don't remember the exact name right now, from the uh, retention tank to the vacuum pump, and then the yellow uh, pipe that comes out of the vacuum pump that connects with the CRV, the condensate return, back to the condenser uh, once again. So uh, that's what all that is. Okay, so the first thing that was confirmed is going the condenser section. I wasn't, I was pretty sure that it was air, um, that the condenser section was pulling through into the ejector um, that was just air passing through that black pipe and uh, the developer confirmed that that is correct it is steam and any non-compressible gases which is just air in our uh, in our case so we're just going to call it air uh, for simplicity's sake the next uh, question that i had or was unsure about was in talking about uh, how how steam gets into the retention tank because in the back we have our simsy and our omsi steams comes in through there through the ejector well if, if there's not enough to actually create that jet that shoots through at that supersonic speed and goes into the retention tank then my question was okay so does this just act as some kind of a of a transfer uh, uh pipe it's it's just some inlet inlet pipe and, and he confirmed that yes um that the way that it draws that steam that comes through when the injector is, is not being used and the vacuum pump is, it's just kind of a low speed inlet pipe into the retention tank. So we have confirmed that retention tank does fill through the ejector and, and that's just the type of pipe. After that, one of the questions that I had or assumptions that I made was that there was um, water in the retention tank that there, that, and I was wondering if, steam inside was condensing into water and that was based on the naming scheme because this is called a condensate return well valve but condensate return um, pipe then the condensate is uh, water um, water that was once steam that has been condensed right it went through condensation it's now condensate uh, that's what the water that we call in the condenser when it goes from steam back to water is condensate um, and so if it's condensate return it's returning the condensate, it must be water. He confirmed it is not. Nowhere in this entire system do we have any water. 
It is all steam and gas. It is simplified for nucleares. This is not how it, it mirrors in the real world. Um, but for our purposes, he has not simulated any liquid water in, in that part of the, in this part of the uh, system, vacuum system. So what goes into the retention tank is from the ejector is steam and air. What gets returned through the CRV or through the, the CR, the condensate return is just steam and air. What gets pulled into the vacuum pump is just steam and air. And what gets ejected out the back side of the vacuum pump or through the exhaust of the vacuum pump is just steam and air. That's all it is. So we have, I lost my cursor, still oh, way up there. Steam and air coming in here. Um, steam coming in through here. Steam and air going into the tension tank. And then it's just steam and air the rest of the way, all the way down to the condenser. The last question that I think um, I had that I was unsure about was the type of vacuum pump that I, that whoops, that we have. I assumed or guessed that it was a liquid ring uh, vacuum pump. And well, because we don't simulate any liquids, it is not, it's just a pump, basically an air pump that ten, that just creates a vacuum. So this is very similar to the one in your vacuum cleaner. I think I used that analogy in the, the original video and it still holds true here. So um, again, to kind of recap, I guess I'll do it backward. The vacuum pump is not a, a liquid ring. It is just a standard regular type of uh, vacuum pump, generic. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, there is no water anywhere in the system. It is all steam and air. The What passes through the condenser suction is just steam and non-compressible gas, which is air from the condenser. And when the ejector is not being used as a steam, creating a steam jet, it is acting as an inlet pipe into the retention tank. The one question that I did think of that I forgot to ask him, or the developer, which is still pending, I've, I'm waiting to hear back from him, is how it moves through the CRV. What I'm guessing is that it, it's the prefer pref it is the pressure differential, right? That one zero point one bar in the condenser versus, from what I understand, it's it's one point oh bar in the retention tank. That's what the gauge says in the control room, which is kind of surprising. But again, I think it's just oversimplified for our nuclear is world. So because this is an area of high pressure and this is an area of low pressure, it just naturally, once it's open, it just naturally flows through. There is no pump sending it uh, that's not modeled or anything like that. That's my guess, but we'll just confirm. Or it's just magic that it just flows that direction. Um, again, we take a lot of liberties with nucleares. Um, for, you have a Simsy and Omsi because they connect and there's no actual valve when they when they make that kind of that T intersection. If you look in the well, my video or the uh, condenser room, what's to prevent some of that steam from going back from backward? Right. If we're using the Simsy, what what stops the steam from going up or vice versa the other way? Um, maybe it does. I don't know. There's no one way valves in these systems and all that. So anyway. Um, there it is for now. And of course, no sooner than I finish my entire video, it's all rendered, uploaded to YouTube and everything. I heard back from the developer and the one uh, thing he added was, the question I was still waiting on was how things return through from the retention tank uh, to through the condensate return to the condenser it's actually just by brute force um even if there's no vacuum uh if there's no you know 0 0.1 and the one 1 1.0 here um the steam and everything pushing through the ejector creates enough force to f shove whatever's in there through the crv uh, into the condenser so it's not just the preferred uh, uh um, pressure differential of this vacuum, this pressure being lower, uh, this pressure being lower than this pressure, but actual physical force pushes it through is uh, the way that it's done. So if there's no vacuum, both ways work. I'm gonna end it here. If I think of something between now and editing, I will toss it in at the end. 
But otherwise, I have a new system set up through YouTube where if you find these videos helpful, I'm not asking for likes. I'm not asking for subscriptions. That's not what I'm here for. I'm not here to become famous. I don't want to be a YouTuber. Um, I'm here to help out the community. I do have a goal to try and upgrade my hardware, my equipment, so that I can increase my graphics and, and put out uh, higher quality videos and things like that. If you're interested in helping me out, there's a button uh, at the bottom of this video that says thanks. You can click on it. Uh, again, toss your Witcher coin. Uh, come join my Discord. Let's hang out. Let's talk. Ask questions. Um, I'm going to have subscriptions where you can get the sneak peeks and other inside information later. More on that down the road. But for now, thanks so much for stopping by, guys. I'm Leonidas, and I will see you again soon.